this is going to be good. Mm -hmm. An arena race of the day. It's the men's 100 back. Ryan Murphy has the records set in the Rio games. There are seven Olympians in this race, including the last two Olympic gold medalists. Ryan Murphy set the Olympic record, the world record in this event, swimming in the medley relay. He'll be in lane number six. Three gold medals in Rio, including both backstroke events. What a race. I, I, I mean, I know we're still in the regular season, so to speak, but you definitely kind of get excited to see double Olympic champions, the last two Olympic games in one stroke, and the rich tradition of success for men's backstroke is unequaled for the United States. It is really something. Brian Murphy, second in the 100 back event in Atlanta a month ago, three 100s behind Japan's Ryosuke Irie. Jack Dolan, get this, 16 years old. He's in an event now with seven Olympians. Gave up playing hockey two years ago to focus on swimming. Corey Main from Auckland, New Zealand, a Rio Olympian, 15th in the semis in the 100 back in Rio. And then in lane three, Bob Glover, a senior this year at Indiana, 18th in the 100 back of the trials last year. Then Jacob Pebley, Rio Olympian in the 200 back. He has three seconds in the 100 back in the Arena Pro Swim Series this year. Grigory Tarasevich is in lane five from Siberia, senior this year at Louisville, Rio Olympian for Russia, was ninth in the 100 back, 12 100s out of the final. And then Ryan Murphy dedicated his Olympic birth to his grandfather, who attended every event of his for years. Matt Grievers, the 2012 Olympic champion in the 100 back, former Olympic record holder, former world record holder, until Ryan Murphy broke that mark. And then Javier Acevedo is in lane eight. Acevedo swam the 100 back for Canada in the Rio Olympics. We don't see him down there in lane eight right now, so he might be a no-show. Richard Boas, a two-time Olympian for Hungary, London and Rio, is in lane number nine. Matt Grievers, four-time Olympic gold medalist, now 32 years old. Yeah, married Annie a couple years ago. They have a new daughter, Skyler, born seven months ago. Father and husband so beloved on this team. Team captain for so many years for the United States. They call him the gentle giant. He's going to have a tough order to beat Ryan Murphy, the best backstroker in the world. But there they are, side by side. Reavers has an advantage. It's certainly his frame. He's six foot eight. He also had a great swim at the beginning of the year, back in January at another Arena Pro Swim meet. He went 53-3. That is ranked third, fourth in the world right now. Think about this. You've got three Americans ranked in the top ten in the world, and Ryan Murphy is also, he's seven. Ryan Murphy is in lane number six, just below the two white lane lines in the yellow cap. Murph looking pretty good, 26-1 going out. Looks very smooth, great tone, good tempo. Grievers certainly not out of it. Here comes that long frame. Matt Grievers just below Ryan Murphy. It's the two Olympic champions, and Ryan Murphy is going to hold him off. Murphy takes it by 42 one hundreds. <laughs> that's gotta be, yeah, that's fun to watch, isn't it, Rich? I mean, <laughs> it sure I is. know we're, we're in a mid-season meet, but when you have the two most recent Olympic champions, thumbs up there by Mac going one, two, side by side. Both of them so much in control. You see Grievers on the right, he has a little harder time getting off the blocks because you've got to kind of curl up on those blocks. Not easy doing that at six foot eight. Another great breakout. This is going to be another heartbreaker when we get to world trials because you've got Murphy, you've got Griefers, you've got Jacob Pebley. Murphy kind of going offline again. You can see him hugging that lane line right there. Now that's, yeah, that's Murph right there. And then all of a sudden, you've got to feel that Grievers was never out of it. Might have gone a little too deep, he did, off that turn, but it stayed in there right till the very end. But Murphy churning away, increasing that tempo so hard right now, your arms are screaming. Uses that core to rock his core back and forth, stays with his stroke, doesn't get on it. And then great swim by 
Ryan Murphy, another top 10 time in the world for him. And another win. Ryan, that's your fastest time this year by five one hundreds. Based on where you are with your training right now, you happy with that? Yeah, I mean, I think that was a much better executed race than my 200 yesterday. So I think there's some good takeaways there. I mean, definitely some places I want to be better, but you know, that definitely was a my best swim of the weekend, so that's good. I, I know we're in a mid-season meet. We built this up between you and Matt, but how special it is it to swim against Matt Grievers right next to you? Yeah, I mean, Matt's a, Matt's a great role model for me, you know, in and out of the pool. You know, he's phenomenal in the pool, great guy out of the pool, so anytime I get to race against him, I'm, I'm not going to take that lightly at all. So, you know, it's, it's great to have him, uh, you know, sticking around and, you know, really making a good push this year. All right, Ryan, well, congrats on another win and good luck at Nationals. Thank you. All right, that's Ryan Murphy who takes the 100 back 53.